Late last year, Titleist released their new RCT golf balls. Uh, these are designed to work with radar-based launch monitors, and they help improve the reading of ball speed and ball spin by using something called the Internal Radar Reflective Marker. We're gonna be using the Garmin Approach R10 and the Mevo Plus as our two radar-based launch monitors. We're going to be hitting Pro V1 golf balls, and then the RCT golf balls are also Pro V1, so it's gonna be the same golf ball so we're gonna be comparing the carry distance and the backspin data from the Garmin and the Mevo launch monitors to the carry and the backspin data that we get from our Unicor IXO. So we're gonna see what ball's data averages closest to the data that we're getting from the IXO. Okay, so before we start hitting, we wanna see what is actually inside this thing. So what we are going to do is cut open uh, one of the new RCT golf balls and see what the difference is uh, comparing this one to just a standard Pro V1. All right, so now we're gonna be cutting open just the standard Pro V1. This one seems like it's easier to get through. So we uh, cut open a standard Pro V1 and in uh, one of the RCT versions. Uh, I mean, the core, the actual core of the golf ball, this is a standard, this is the RCT. Very similar, feels like similar density, very similar material. Uh, the actual shell of the golf ball is where you see a difference. Standard Pro V1, it's just a white shell, nothing special to it. The RCT, it's got this reflective strip inside that the launch monitors are seeing to be able to, to pick it up better and give you more accurate spin data. All right, so we're gonna start off. Mike is gonna be hitting with the just standard Pro V1 to start. He's using a seven iron and we're gonna see what the outcome is. The flight path on both of them is very close. Straight as an arrow. So 138 exactly on the Mevo and about 150-ish on the IXO. Back spin 6400 on the IXO, about 6000 on the Mevo. So it seems like the Mevo is reading about 10 yards less with every shot, and that's using the standard Pro V1. Backspin is also a bit less on every shot with the Mevo Plus than it is on the IXO. So we just finished up our testing with the standard Pro V1 golf ball. Uh, and what we found is pretty consistently, the Mevo Plus was reading about somewhere in the range of like eight to 10 yards shorter than we were seeing on the IXO. Uh, the flight path of the balls was for the most part very similar between the two launch monitors. It was just the, the distance was off and some of the spin every once in a while was off on it as well. So now we're going to uh, start using the RCT ball. Mike is all set up. He's gonna be using the same seven iron, uh, same setup, just a different golf ball. So let's see what happens. That was a nice shot. Again, this the Mevo shows slightly to the left and the IXO shows slightly to the right. Do you remember what did it feel like for you? I mean, it felt right.
So when using the Mevo Plus, we found that both the RCT golf balls and the metallic dots gave us a bit of a boost in accuracy for our spin data with maybe a little bit of an edge towards the RCT golf balls. So then the Garmin R10, that was kind of a different story. Um, the Pro V1, when we were hitting that, just a standard Pro V1, it worked fine. When we switched over to the RCT, however, uh, we found shot after shot, the Garmin just wasn't registering it. And then after a little bit of online research, what we found is that the Garmin's algorithm, basically it doesn't allow it to recognize an RCT as an actual golf ball, so it's not picking up those shots. So is the RCT golf ball worth it if you're using it with a Mevo Plus? I guess it'll be up to each individual user. The RCT golf balls will give you a little bit of a boost in accuracy compared to the metallic dots, um, but we will let you decide if you think that the extra money for those golf balls is gonna be worth it. So if you like this video and you wanna see us test out more products, just let us know in the comment section below. And as always, remember to subscribe to our channel for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.